Right, a bit of a fail today on the old uh, pond. I only had like an hour and a half, but um, I want to put a video out, so there's some other things I need to be done. So, um, for starters, I need to put two elbows on the end of here and quieten this down. Basically, the, uh, my father-in-law just um, slept in the spare room, which is up there. When, when did you go in the spare room? It's above the, above the roof. Um, he said it won't keep them up all night, so I'm going to do that. Then I want to modify the cotton cord skimmer. Because um, this, this joint here, so I've, I've um, obviously converted it to an inch and a half um, pressure pipe. Um, so it's, it's, it sort of comes with a hose tail, if you like, you screw in. But then, I have a problem with this leaking, so basically I would cut this off. And um, well, I'll show you in a minute. Let's get these cut, put these, put these on, and then I'll, uh, I'll crack on with this. All right, cheers. Right, job one sorted. And I'm sort of angled them to the left, trying to get some, uh, you know, some circulation down there. It's definitely quieter. Probably not on the video, but it sounds exactly the same, man. But, um, yeah, like I say, every time I come here, the fish hide underneath the tarp. I need to pull that off. Starting to sink somehow. I think the net's sagging, so I'll have to sort that out in a minute. Um, right, next job, pot me coil skimmer. Um, yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, so this point has a uh, no problem with it leaking. So um, what I want to do is chop this off and then um, put this where is it? Gotcha. Put this um inch and a half belt edge straight in and then um yeah we'll go from there i'll get back to you in a sec oh oh before i do that actually another thing i want to change is this this gate valve i bought this in march and the company name for it is company's i got it valterra um already leaking so i don't know so I'll show you what we'll replace that with. Let me just get this off and then uh, cut this off. Right, so, I've, so I've cut that, uh, that fitting off. It's moulded into the base of this. So I'm going with a Thornton mill. Um, yeah, see you in a minute. Sorry, before I drill that, I've got a piece of wood in here to keep the uh, I'm not cutting myself all the time. Um, a piece of wood to keep it all nice and straight. Yeah, that's just a that's a fence post in there, just uh, underneath. Bosh. Right, so we're full with the inch and a half now. So now I've got a flat. I need four fingers. I've got a flat um, bottom now. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this, this is important to me, is that plastic obviously is so versatile. So I just want the pressure part to be straight into here rather than have that other fit in because like I say it leaks but you could go you could go cottony coil inch and a half if you wanted to and that'll go in just going to twist it in you could go two inch you could go three inch I think uh, Andy at Koi Dar has cut the whole bottom off and put a big rubber boot on there so yeah well anyway let's get that, get that in right that's all done so you know it's out it's hitting nice and flush to the uh, bottom of the skimmer now. Um, also, getting rid of that slide valve. I, I really don't like this at all. So that will come down, probably be cut about here. Rubber boot, so that's just that's the long version if you like. And then that will go to this lower union ball valve. Um, rather than, the, you know, these crappy slide valves, gateway valves, whatever you call them. Um, yeah, like I say, it's so versatile, you can, put, you can literally put any fitting on there you want. All you've got to do is drill it, so that's what I wanted to show you. So that's uh, pretty much ready to go, just needs trimming down and then see the ball valve be fitted. Oh no, that might have been 45 to keep it against the sleepers, a dead ball valve. Um, but yeah, all good. Right, um, hopefully I'll uh, have a better video for you next time on the uh, pond build. But, um, 
Yeah, see you soon. Cheers, guys. All right, guys and girls, welcome back to Digging the Channel Tunnel. Um, you know, I said I uh, was going to finish that digging. I'm still digging. I'm not joking. Um, just want to hit that five foot. Um, yeah, I mean, still, as you can see, this is, it's really hard to see on camera, but, like, this is the bottom, and then, you can see how much earth I've taken out. Um, then it obviously goes all the way up to the top now. Um, but, oh, there is good news, actually. My drill just arrived for the uh, rebar, so, just with this plug-in Bosch. Do that, should do the job. It's 40 bucks. And let's get it down. It won't open, I'll come back to oh, Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, just bought this thing. 40 quid, do the job. Um, it's got a little depth gauge on it. So, when I'm going through the uh, this rebar stuff, I can uh, go 400 mil through and then just like maybe 50 mil for the next one to stop the break in the drill bit. So it's pretty handy. Um, yeah, um, got some savage tree trunk coming over here. I don't know what to do with, to be honest. Um, so this was about, it's coming out about here. I had to chop that off, but I'm a bit worried about it because. But I can't, you can't see, but behind there's a massive conifer. So, uh, yeah, I might have to burn more of this out and maybe fill fill it with um, concrete or something. I don't know. Um, yes. But anyway, I want to get this rebar in just for a bit of stability. And then I can crack on. It's got a couple of inches to go, literally. Um, yeah, anyway, let's crack on. Cheers. A bad little drill. It went through like butter, um, but <laughs> the depth gauge, bad marks on you, Bosch. It's too short, didn't help at all. Um, oh, never mind. All right, anyway, so, hey. Plenty of holes drilled around there, including the uh, window base. Just filled the two on that one. Um, yeah, I've got to strip all this down now, and. Uh, Nightmare. Total, total, take the top layer off and then drill again. Oh, cheers! Uh, that's a carnage. I'm not getting, get, not getting as much film as I like to do, but um, just down to two layers now. So I still drill through. Um, start building up again now. Um, I'm quite tempted to play giant Jenga if I'm honest with you. First, but I ain't got time. Got home at half two. Working tomorrow. Only got half hour daylight left, so I don't like the most of it. Um, right, yeah, smooth. Right, guys, I'm running out of light here. <laughs> I am trying to show you everything I'm doing, but um, you know, go out of breath again. Um, yeah, just start with the windows sections where the just where there's only two sleepers, not four. Um, so put one in there as well, and cut off, and then. The other window size done as well. There's one there. Yeah, I can't see it. There's one there. there. Um, yeah. Not really. Uh, I said it'd be a slow build. God, I went wrong. Um, right. Got to make a move on because uh, it's nearly dark. All right, guys. Shit. Well, I'm going to call it a day again. Um, Started hammering that in, can't see a thing. Just cut my fingers up. Um, yeah, and it's windier out here than my pants after a ruby, so seriously, it's freezing and all. Um, sort of sleeting, snowing and all. Um, uh, what have I got? Not much done, really. Got the windows rebarred, well, the, the two. Like I was saying, um, yeah, <laughs> just flat out of work, absolutely flat out of work. I'm working tomorrow, Sunday tomorrow, I'm working. Um, we get there, man. 
we'll get there. Um, yeah. Knackered again. Right, and then hopefully we get to the fun stuff soon. So uh, I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Hello, you.